this is a quick video just showing how I add text to a digital image. I'm using um, Word 2007, but if you have another version, it may not look exactly the same as this, but you should be able to find the commands absolutely fine. Um, here I've chosen an image that's just crying out for a sentiment along the middle. You can, of course, print this out, stamp your image or handwrite it in, but this is, this is how I would add it um, within Word. Okay, now let's type out our sentiment. Um, I'm going to say, well done. So I'll type that out. I'll just have an exclamation mark. Now I need to size this to match my image. Um, that looks about right, 36 there. Okay, so I need to get my text within my image. But actually what I'm going to do is the other way around and I'm going to put my image over, or should I say under, my text. And how we do that is we right click on the image, go down to this option here is text wrapping. Now traditionally it's in line with text, that's why they remain side by side. But we want it to obviously be combined. So you can pick any of these options here, They, I think they will all work just the same. But I'm going to use behind text. Okay, so click on that option. Now this means that I can now move my image anywhere on the page I like. Now this does come in handy when you're doing paper piecing, when you're printing the same image over and over, because it means you can hang your image off the end of the page, just print out the sections you want, and you have even less wastage with your paper. Okay, back to what I'm doing right now. Now obviously the text has gone up into uh, the left hand corner and I'm going to need it about here when the image goes over it. I'm just moving the image out of the way for now. Okay, now I'm going to hit enter a couple of times and bring the text down and then I'll press the space bar to move it out away from the left hand side. Now let's have a look, see if that's looking about right. Actually that's looking pretty good. Okay, now I'm going to move that out of the way again. I've decided I want to colour this, so I'll highlight my text, go up to this box here to change the font colour, go to the drop down menu and I would like a purple. There. Now I'm going to do um, similarly with the image, but with this one we can't use this because this only changes the font colour. So we'll right click on the image, go down to format picture, click on recolor, and I'll choose a purple there. Okay, now I can slide my image, I would say over, but technically it's under my text, and there we are. We can print them off together. Now obviously if you don't have an image like this that's got a gap for your text in the middle, you can add your text above or below, or you know, um, beside your um, image and print them off together. I hope this helps. I hope it gives you a bit more of, um, you know, a bit more flexibility with your digital stamps.